I'm gonna tell you how to stay motivated on YouTube and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so motivation to make videos isn't just a problem for people starting out. I mean, even people that have been doing this for a while, you know, we have to reach inside of ourselves and we have to say, you know, remind ourselves, why is it that I'm making videos in the first place. I mean, there never comes a point in time where you just get in front of the camera just automatically and you just make the content because, you know, there's other things to do in life as well besides standing in front of a camera. So it's always an interruption to just living your normal life because you have to stand here in front of the camera in order to make the content to get it up online. So I put together some thoughts and ideas for you to help you get over that hump when you're just feeling crummy and you don't wanna make videos. Oh yeah, I'm talking to you. So the first thing you wanna think about when it comes to getting over that motivational hurdle when it comes to making your content is it's really important to think about what it is that you're actually contributing. Even if you're making gaming content where you're just playing the game and people are coming in and they're watching, if you are having people come and watch your videos on a regular basis, then you're adding value to people. That value can be that you're helping them escape even if it's just for 30 minutes, even if it's just for five minutes or even just for a minute. You could be helping one person escape their life from, you know, maybe they have problems with something in their life and they're just hopping on YouTube because they want to not think about it for a little bit. You are where they come for that. And even for people that don't have serious problems, you know, they're still coming onto YouTube for the sake of entertaining themselves or educating themselves or something along those lines. And anything that you are doing that people are actually watching, you're providing benefit to people because they are watching your content. Especially if you're keeping it positive. You know, if you're adding all of this like dark stuff and all this negative, you know, hey, this is blah, blah, blah. You know, in that particular case, then you know, might not be adding that much value. You might actually be going in the other direction but as long as you're keeping it positive, then you're an outlet, so to speak, for people to enjoy, for people to consume, for people to entertain themselves with. Lean on that. Understand that if you are wanting to do YouTube and you're wanting to grow an audience on YouTube or you're wanting to make your audience bigger on YouTube, but you're having trouble getting past the ideas of even making the content on a regular basis and things like that, think about the impact that you could be having to one other person, five other people, 10 other people, a thousand other people that are on the other side of the lens. I know all of this is sounding a little bit preachy, so bear with me. Number two, make sure that you're okay with the upload schedule. You know, daily content might not be for you. Another thing that's really helpful in terms of staying motivated on YouTube is joining uh, communities on Facebook and Reddit and stuff so that you can actually interact with other YouTubers. And it sounds trivial, but just hanging out with like-minded folks can make a really big difference on keeping that drive up to keep making content. Another thing that I've found helpful is, you know, if you are just not wanting to make a video, then go out and walk around, go do something else just for a little bit and think about, okay, you know, when I'm making this video, what is it I'm gonna talk about? What is it I'm gonna say? How am I actually gonna say it? And just start, you know, just start thinking about it and think about how you're actually gonna put the whole thing together while you're out doing something else. So then when you come back in, you've been thinking about it, you've got some energy going because you've been walking around and you're like fired up to get in front of the camera and make that video. Another thing that can be extremely helpful for staying motivated on YouTube is to batch create your content. I know not every channel can do this, but for those of you who can, and you might think that you can't, but you probably can as well. Even vloggers, you know, you can crush out two vlogs in a day as an example. But if you can batch create your content, that can make a huge difference because what you can do, let's say that you update three times per week. So then that tells you that, hey, well, I'm putting out 12 videos a month. So technically, depending on the type of content that you make, I can sit down two or three days out of one week and I can just crush out the content for the entire month. And then you do that content on the days that you actually feel like making the content. When you're fired up, you're feeling great, everything is good, everything just is fantastic. Hey, today is my content day. Another thing that can be extremely valuable for you in terms of staying motivated is to remember why or come up with a reason why, if you don't already have one, that you're making your content in the first place. Are you trying to change lives? Are you trying to make money? Are you trying to be famous? Like, what is it that you're actually trying to accomplish here on YouTube? If you know that, then just knowing what it is that you're trying 
to accomplish can be a humongous help in keeping you motivated. Because if you know that that's what you're trying to accomplish, you know that all you have to do to fill in the time between now and when you're actually accomplishing whatever goal it is that you're trying to achieve, all you have to do is make all of the content that fills in the space in the middle. And thinking of it that way can really help you get past that motivational hump. Now, if you really wanna take it up a notch, what you wanna do is you want to actually change your perspective about everything it is that you're doing on your channel. You wanna say, okay, this is why I'm making my content. This is who I'm trying to reach with my content. This is the bigger picture, the bigger idea of what it is that I'm trying to do with my content. It's not just that I'm trying to make money. It's not that I'm just trying to, you know, get a sponsorship for this particular game or whatever. Lean on a bigger idea, something that's outside of yourself. How are you actually contributing to the people that are watching your content, to society, to the community that you happen to be in, all of it? What are you actually doing that is paying it forward, so to speak, to the people that are consuming your content and the world they live in. If you look at it with a bigger view like that, then it can also really help you because instead of it being like, oh, I don't wanna do this right now, it can be like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this because of this particular thing that it's going to do long-term in terms of the community, society, you know, all of that good stuff, all these positive ripples I'm putting out there. I know that sounds a little weird, but for some people, that works. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.